Let's look at how we can calculate descriptive statistics using the data analysis tool pack that comes with Excel. Now I'm assuming that you've already installed the data analysis tool pack. If you haven't, you need to make sure you do. Now in this example we've been using, we've got the data from 25 students on how much they like Justin Bieber, ranging from one, they detest him, to five, they adore him. And we used some commands already to calculate the mean, the average score. We used the, for the mean, we used the, the Excel command average. For the standard deviation, we used the Excel command standard deviation, and we entered in all the scores. Now we're going to use the data analysis tool pack that will calculate um, a bunch of statistics all at once for us. So to go to the data analysis tool pack, you have to make sure it's installed. You go to data, and if it's installed correctly, you have data analysis up here. We choose data analysis, and here it's giving us some choices, and we are going to choose descriptive statistics. So we choose OK, and the first thing it asks us are the input range and also if we have the label there. So let's, let's choose the label. I'm going to use shift down arrow to choose all of the data. And so now the input range goes from C2 to C27. It's grouped by columns because we could actually put more than one column in here if we wanted to get more uh, descriptive statistics in a different set. And we've got labels in first row. Now we have to set the output uh, options, and we want to put it on uh, the, the same sheet. So we're going to choose output range. Now, when you choose output range, we get to choose what cell we want to put it in. But make sure you put your cursor in this box here, because it goes back up to, the, up to that box when you choose output range. And if you don't remember to put it down in the box here, you're going to lose your input range. So I put the cursor in the output range here. I'd like the upper left-hand corner to go there. That's where the that will go. And we want summary statistics. So I click summary statistics. And then I press OK. And what do we get? We Let's make this a little wider so we can read everything. Let's stretch out each column. Now, some of those numbers are really big and a pain to read, so let's, let's round them off. Let's go to Home, and in the Number section, we don't want General. We want Number Format. That rounds them all. That makes it a lot easier to, uh, to read, so we can make that column smaller now, bring it close. And we have got, we have the Mean, 2.52. We have the standard error, which you might not know what that means yet. We've got the median, that's the halfway score. The mode, one, that's what the, that's the most common score. I wonder why. Um, standard deviation of 1.42, that's what we had calculated there. Um, sample variance, kurtosis, skewness, range, minimum, maximum, sum, and count. A bunch of these are useful, a bunch of them aren't useful. Uh, you only want to report the descriptive statistics that are one, those that are useful, and two, those that you understand what they mean. Don't report things you don't understand. Don't report things just because you have them available to you.